we take up this session for understanding the circle chapter under CBSC class 10th circles because you know the being circle if I talk about is actually a lot of I need to change the subject here uh, the topic here sorry um also the fact you know a circle is in itself is a quite a huge um, topic so we'll only stick to the part which is included in um, class 10 CBSC to let uh, to start with let us understand a tangent what does this mean the tangent is this line which intersects the circle at only a point single point this is suppose the point where it is intersecting I'll just name the center maybe as O so this point of intersection may be P this point where it intersects is called the point of tangency and the statement if I write it will be it's a line a tangent is a line it's better if I run write it down is a line that intersects a circle at a point at one point it intersects with the circle and that point which is denoted here in the figure is P called the point of tangency now there can then be another concept which is second that is uh, let me just write it and then I draw it on the same figure is a line that intersects the circle at two points now two points may be here this is a second it is intersecting at the point A as well as P so if you look at a second will always have a chord in it because A B in itself is the chord and if I name I can give this name as L M for the second these are the two basic concepts based on them let us take up the first theorem I'm just writing THRM as a it says a tangent at the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact or that the point of tangency oh sorry contact let me just draw the figure for the same oh if I draw a circle it means and I draw a tangent this is the point of contact it says the point of contact at this point of contact if I draw perpendicular to the radius this is suppose the circle mine mine figure my figure might not be you know kind of accurately done as 90 but it seems it is a 90 degree so this angle is supposed to be the perpendicular to the at that point this is first so I'll just write down and give a name to it maybe this is X Y line so OP is perpendicular on X Y <coughs> this is your first theorem there are not more there are second one I'll take up says two tangents from a common external points are equal that means if I draw this figure and this is an external point suppose the circle has a radius 
sorry the center O and from that external point named P I draw two tangents to the circle one which is intersecting here and the one below and I give the name to the point of uh, tangency that may be suppose A and B. So this PA is said to be equal to PB. These are the two basic theorems under circle. Now based on these two theorems we will be taking up questions again in the next screen. Let me just change the topic. We are obviously taking up circles. Mm, I will write down the question. Before that let me draw the figure for our convenience so that once I draw it becomes easier for you to make out what I am drawing. Let Oh sorry. I need to clear it as well. I actually wanted to draw a smaller circle. I hope this is enough for us to you know make out this says you know this is given by A this is given by B and this is the point C this line is represented by 8 centimeter and this is given as 6 centimeter this O is the center I have drawn the radius as well this is O now the question says in this figure again I'm using some short form triangle ABC is a right triangle that means it's a right angle triangle right angled at B and it says AB is given BC is given you have to find the radius of the circle that means we have to find if I denote this with R we have to find this R so let us take it up in this figure if you see as it is already informed ABC to be right angle triangle let us first calculate AC so as per the Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square so AC square will be 8 square plus 6 square that is 64 plus 36 so that's 100 so AC will be root over of 100 that's giving us 10 centimeter so I write down here as 10 centimeter now if you look into it and I drop a perpendicular here as well and let me name them as suppose this is D this is E and this is F this angle also I need to name these three angles oh sorry yeah. this may be as one this as two and the other one as 3 now angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 they all are 90 
this is why let us refer to the first theorem we discussed it says tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact so these are all the points of contact and these OD OE and OF are all perpendicular and therefore angle 1 2 and 3 they are all 90 degree and we have referred OD OE and OF to be the radius so we'll be taking them as R now the figure says the area of triangle ABC can be calculated as area of oh let me just join them let me just join this code uh, center to all the three vertices now I get three triangle <coughs> sorry area of A O B plus area of triangle B O C plus area of triangle C O A that means area of A B C will be given by half base into altitude on the other hand area of a o b will be given by half base into altitude which is represented by r for us again it is half into b c into o e is again another r plus half base for c o a is a c and again the uh, altitude is r so it is half base is 6 and this is 8 this is equal to half a b is given by 8 into r plus half b c is 6 into r plus half a c is given by 10 into r so on the left I'm getting 24 and 24 is equal to here it is 3R plus 3R plus 5R that's how much do I get is 3 plus 3 6 plus 5 11 11 R so R is 24 by 11 oh I think I made somewhere some mistake let me just check it out did I write somewhere oh here I made a mistake oh, oh yeah here I need to change it is 2 and 8 that gives you f divided by 8 that's 4 so it is 5 6 7 7 plus 5 that's giving me 12 so R is given to be 2 centimeter here you might just you know get similar questions with R given have to find one of the sides or you have to find the um, the perp uh, one of the sides or you might just yeah that can be the possibility if I change or converse this question now let me move on to take up another question and I'll just change the topic the same screen remains and I take it up as circles mm okay I'll just write the question we we'll discuss it and you can do it by yourself prove that the length of tangents drawn oh drawn from an external point to the circle are equal 
okay the question says so this is one of the first past paper questions uh, under cbsc this we have already done you know in the previous question mm, i have already informed you about this theorem we didn't solve it here it says prove that the length of the tangents drawn from an external point is actually equal to, um, point are equal so what do you do you draw this figure you draw two tangents here you have to prove this p a or p b to be equal to do so draw the perpendicular from the radi as the radius to the point of contact and i join this center to the external point p i can just simply tell you how to go for it you take the try to prove the congruency of oap and obp once you prove the congruency once you prove that these two triangles are congruent that will help us to prove by cpct ap equals to pp thank you